So, this is actually kind of a misconception. We don't actually know whether the forms in Dragon Ball Super or the forms in Dragon Ball GT are more powerful on purpose. Like, Toriyama has been specifically vague about where everything lies on the Super Spectrum. At the time, it wasn't even particularly clear that Super Saiyan God was more powerful than Super Saiyan 3. Goku got access to another form of Ki, which basically gave him another power resource, but in terms of actual power level, once again, Toriyama was specifically vague. And this was a specific strategy. He knew that Dragon Ball was falling victim to power creep, and he had already written stuff on a almost universal level. So by diverting into the Super Saiyan God transformations, he could say, oh, you have access to God Ki, it's not necessarily linear. It was clear that Super Saiyan God did give him a significant power-up, though, and that his body did eventually get used to that, so that Super Saiyan Blue was a step above most of the forms that he could already take. But then again, you'll note that the other forms he takes, like Ultra Instinct, are once again tangential forms. Ultra Instinct primarily concerns the way his body moves, not necessarily a direct increase in power. Yes, it is a god-level technique, but it's mostly about the ability to predict and outmaneuver opponents. And Toriyama is specifically trying to make a lot of these new transformations more offshoots, more ways to say that Goku and Vegeta are fighting different, and not just that their numbers are going up, because that gives him creative room. The fan base has just sort of assumed that each new transformation is getting more and more powerful in terms of numbers, because that's what we were used to from Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. But Dragon Ball GT also had Goku facing universal threats. Remember, at that point, our concept of what a god was, was the Kais, and we had already seen the entire Dragon Ball cast surpass the Kais in the Buu Saga. These concepts of angels and gods of destruction and Zeno and stuff like that didn't even exist in GT. So it's actually kind of hard to compare Super to GT one-to-one. -one. The closest you can get is in Dragon Ball Heroes, but that's kind of an offshoot, non-canon thing anyway. Unless you want to say everything in Dragon Ball is canon, which I guess is a valid way of looking at it. But yeah, I just find it fascinating that Toriyama is specifically trying to not be put into a box where power levels can be compared to each other, and yet fans desperately keep trying to do that. And I do think he will have more creative freedom if we stop thinking of power as a linear scale.